All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the Kronwagen, the tier 10 Swedish heavy tank. Now, this is a tank that has been recently nerfed, so we're going to be talking about it in that aspect. This is the equipment, calibrated shells, of course, supercharged, I use and refined the gun. You can use it as you like, but this is just my equipment, and it's the most comfortable way of playing it for me. Everything else is standard, of course, I do need sandbag armor, which is a big bonus, and obviously the better consumables which come with it. If you don't use the consumables, you're probably an idiot. So yeah, we're going to be jumping into a live game, and we're going to be talking about the tank at the same time. This tank has recently been nerfed, the turret now moves around as if it has been damaged, so as if the turret is yellow, which is super important. Because uh, you want to be turning towards the area, you want to pre-fire anyway. Don't wait for the tank to turn by itself, because in that case, it's going to be super slow. So if you're trying to peek a corner, I suggest you start turning your turret already, because uh, otherwise the turret's turning speed is super, super slow. On top of that, the tank has been cut in terms of HP. It used to be 2.8k, now it's 2.6. Of course, that is a big, big nerf. 200 HP is um, is a shot or two, maybe even three if you have a full drum. So in that case, this really did hit the tank in a negative way. So here, I don't think I can really penetrate anyone. Uh, I don't know why I did that shot. There is no way in hell you're going to penetrate a VK90 under an angle like that. So I'm probably going to relocate to try and get a better angle on them. But the tank itself is still okay. You know, the gun is pretty good. It still has that auto reloader, which is good at times, but the DPM is still garbage. The mobility is quite trash if you don't have the consumable. But the best thing about the tank is, of course, the turret armor in regards to it being hauled down. Sometimes you can get an HE shell from a Death Star for 1000 plus into the, um, the top part of the turret. But you just need to remember to raise it. Obviously, we got a uh, three shots into the enemy tanks on the other side to the Progetto and the Fosh. But now I really want to focus on the heavy tanks on this side because I think it is super duper important. I do have 700 games played on the Kranvan and overall I really do enjoy it. Sometimes I really hated it and my average damage is around 3400 plus on this thing, which isn't too great, but it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's playable. So here... Our, our guys are dying. I think we completely lost the flank and uh, we're going to get cornered and ultimately most likely we're going to lose because as you can see here the uh, the the light tank on our team is on this side as well. On that side they have a few mediums and a fosh. So they're going to come around and eat us in the bomb because we really don't know how to push the heavies on this side. Amazing. So yeah, as you can see they're already on our spawn. They're coming in through mid. And our guys are divided, so my only hope is to probably try and get those guys out of our spawn to try and uh, at least win us this match. There is a Fosh. I really want to wait for the second shell. I don't want to spend it, but uh, I get another good shot there. And uh, they still have uh, a few tanks on this side. So we need to focus more or less on the heavies here as well. Because they're trying to push through. And so we can get a few nicer shots. This game is mostly just about positioning. I'm positioning myself a lot. So don't come into one position and stay there for the whole game. Try and relocate a bit and uh, see how it goes. Here the VK90. Of course that shot was garbage because that completely removed... The second reload on my shell, I should have just waited and maybe I would have had three shells at this point in time. But as you can see here, our positions are horrible, our HP is horrible, they have a lot of full, full tanks, so most likely we're going to lose here and it's a guarantee. So let's try and put two shells into the VK90 here and maybe try and take out this IS-4 with one shot. Actually, I'll just go for the Super Conqueror. I really think I can put a shot in here. And uh, no, no, I cannot. But yeah, we did some decent damage. But uh, obviously, we lost because our team wasn't the greatest. So yeah, guys, we did around 5,200. And uh, it's a decent game. So that's the Crown Wagon for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this shorter video, smash the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy is out. Bye-bye.